How are we doing guys? I thought I'd answer this because I get this comment quite a lot. What happens when you die in GTA? Now, there's three different things that normally happen uh, to be dead in GTA. Because we're a serious roleplay server, uh, not every server does it, but because we are, um, we have something that uh, if you crash over 80 miles per hour, you would then technically be dead. Um, what happens is, if you do crash over that or in reality whatever happened uh, realistically you would be dead you would then need to do the pass out emote uh, which basically looks like this you would lie on the floor acting as if you're dead and uh, no coming back you don't contact no one you don't do nothing you wait there for five minutes if after five minutes no one comes you can then get back and continue off as you went however if someone does come and see you then obviously they can call for the backup the nhs uh, hospital ambulance whatever you name it they may even take you to the hospital yourself because you're dead they would put you on the bed and you have to wait there five minutes after five minutes you get up and then you walk out there is another stage where if you actually your character actually dies in gta mechanics you die like this so you go into the bleed out stage in the bleed out stage you have seven minutes to uh call for any backup do a slash 99 for an ambulance to come you may radio across and stuff like that um if an ambulance or a paramedic does come they can revive you at this stage um, if they do revive you, obviously, then you can get up and uh, role play all your injuries. Um, at this point, as well, you do role play your injuries as well. Um, if unfortunately they get to you and uh, they're out of time, you will go into the second stage, which is stage two, which basically means you've now got 45 seconds to wait there dead before you can respawn. In GTA um, role play, when you die, you have to forget about everything we have certain rules it's called new life rule so what happens is if if i've just died from an incident where i may have gone to a robbery and a criminal's doing a robbery that criminal may have killed me i have to forget about that whole incident from the moment i get called to the moment we um to the moment i died um if you're a criminal in gang beef for instance you have to forget all about that gang beef that had just been created you don't forget about who you are your gang that you're in any previous stuff and same with the police officers you don't forget about that you just forget about what has happened just then in order for you to die um and if you do not forget about it and you try and get a revenge kill for it that is breaking new life rule and uh it's a warning on your system it happens across all gta some gta servers don't have rules um however a new life rule is a quite a common one across all gta servers so uh make sure you remember that one um and it's just being realistic in order for you to uh role play out and that's the only way that you can uh, come back alive now, once you do respawn, you come to uh, hospital, you do lose everything that you had on you. And uh, what simply happens is um, you walk out of hospital, go back, get all your stuff as if you start again. If someone comes up to you and said, what's just happened to you? You just say, I've woken up in hospital with a headache and that's it. They then know that is code word for you've just died. T don't tell him anything, basically. Um, hopefully that's un uh, given you an understanding into uh, what happens when you die um, It is a really addictive game and uh, feel free if you do want to join come and join my discord in my bio uh, Maybe drop me a follow and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next uh, twitch live. Take care guys